Today we're going to be taking a look at the BTI-10 Thermal Monocular, which happens to be the most budget-friendly helmet-mountable thermal monocular currently available on the market. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the device, checking out some thermal image footage from the BTI-10, and comparing its specs to some of the other helmet-mountable thermal monoculars in its class. So you can get a better idea not only of how it performs, but how it stacks up to the competition to help you decide if this is something that you want to invest in. But so far in my testing, I've been really impressed with this device and definitely think it's worth a look if you're on a budget and in the market for a helmet mountable thermal setup. But before we dive in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And I'll also be posting an affiliate link to the BTI-10 down in the description below and a coupon code which you can use to save 10% off. And I really appreciate you using that link because it will help me grow the channel. We're going to start off by taking a look at the BTI-10. And on the front, this here is the main lens and behind that is the thermal sensor. And this is actually quite a nice thermal sensor, especially for the price. And it's a three 384 by 288 12 micrometer sensor with a 50 hertz refresh rate and you can adjust the focus by rotating this knob here on the right side there's a place for an 18650 battery and there's no onboard charging but you can use the included charger and this setup is really nice because it's easy to swap in and out the batteries this is the main viewing lens and inside you'll find a nice crisp high resolution oled display and the eyepiece is also quite comfortable and squishy and you can also adjust the focus by rotating the knob these three buttons are going to allow you to zoom change color palette and navigate the menu. This one will let you turn the device on and off and also access the menu. And the UI is relatively straightforward to get the hang of. On top, there's a place where you can attach a mount, which you can then use to attach it to a helmet for hands-free use. And the mount is included with the device and it is compatible with fast mount setups. And you can also purchase this setup with a helmet as well. You can also combine the BTI-10 and the NVG-10 together with the bridge to get the best of both worlds. When it comes to detection at range with thermal and recognition and detail with the digital night vision setup, up for close range use and together you've got yourself a very capable and budget friendly night vision setup. This housing might look familiar if you've been subscribed to my channel or you're familiar with the NVG-10 digital night vision monocular and this is the thermal variant that we're looking at in this video and there is a tremendous resemblance between these two devices and as you can see here the configurations are nearly identical in terms of the material, the focus adjustments, the button layout, the button type and the main differences are in the UI and this one of course uses thermal imaging technology and this one uses digital infrared imaging technology. Anyways, I highly recommend the NVG-10 for those of you looking for a budget-friendly night vision setup. And this unit retails for about $400 and I've reviewed it on this channel. And for more info on that, I highly suggest you check out Don't Do Daylight's review of the NVG-10 and its comparison to the PVS-14, which I'll link to down in the description below. Unfortunately, there is no onboard or Wi-Fi video recording capabilities on the BTI-10, which did make acquiring footage from this device a bit more difficult than usual. So in order to record the footage that you're going to see in this video, I did have to put together this little rig to connect my Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And this rig doesn't quite do the BTI-10 justice, and I can't quite replicate how good the experience actually is when you put the device up to your eye. So the overall experience when you're actually using the device is going to be better than what you see in this video. But now we're going to transition into looking at some footage taken directly from the BTI-10. There are a handful of different color modes you can run, including a black hot, a white hot, a red hot, and a multicolor fusion mode. And depending on your environment, you might find one that really pops against your background. I've enjoyed switching off primarily between the black hot mode, which seems to be better for identification, and the multicolor mode, which provides the most contrast for detection. Overall, the image is incredibly sharp at short range, but as we start to zoom, you definitely do notice a reduction in the resolution, but there's still a tremendous advantage to using digital zoom as we go further out to help us recognize and detect objects. There's a one times mode, a two times mode, a four times, and an eight times mode. And the zoom is smooth, and I really like how it slowly zooms back out when we were set back to the one times magnification. We're going to do a range test so you can get a better idea of what this device is truly capable of and we'll see if we can better understand the 1000 meter claims that the manufacturer makes. When it comes to thermal imaging range claims, there's a few important terms to keep in mind and those words are identification, recognition, and detection. And while my wife walks down the street, we'll briefly touch on what these terms mean. Identification is going to be the distance at which you're able to see and describe objects in detail, like what a person might be wearing or what kind of animal you're looking at. It's easy to see that my my wife is wearing a long dress and that there's a cat beside her in the street. For the next block or so, up to about 100 meters, you can still make out pretty good detail. Recognition refers to your ability to classify an object 
like if it's a person, an animal, or a vehicle. And for the next few hundred meters, up to about 250 meters, it is pretty clear that it is a person. As we go beyond 250 meters, you can still see very clearly that there is something standing upright and walking. And in this environment, it's safe for us to assume it's a human. But as we go further out, this brings us to our discussion on detection which is the distance at which we're able to distinguish an object from its background. Unfortunately, the BTI-10 does not specify exactly what it's able to do at 1000 meters, just that it's able to do something. So we're going to assume that it's detection, and these types of claims are very common amongst most thermal imaging device manufacturers, and not something that's unique to the BTI-10. And at this point, my wife has basically faded away into the street and is no longer distinguishable from her background, and this occurred at about a little over 500 meters. We are still able to see the street clearly, which does appear to be warmer than its background, and right now the range on this is about 650 meters. With a different background, you might be able to identify a human being a bit further away, but your environment and the size of your target and the strength of the heat signature is definitely going to play a huge role in your ability to detect something further. I doubt you'd be able to detect a human at 1000 meters even under ideal conditions with this setup, but it's not unreasonable to assume that you could detect a large object like a vehicle that had been running at distances closer to 1000 meters. I put together a spreadsheet with a handful of thermal monoculars that are all helmet mountable to help you get a better idea of the current landscape and a better understanding of the BTI-10 strengths and weaknesses compared to other devices. The BTI-10 is currently the cheapest thermal monocular on the market and at the moment it's $200 cheaper than the Armasite Sidekick 320 and most of the other thermal monoculars are in the $2,500 to $2,900 range and you can save an additional 10% off using the coupon code US10 which does drop the price down of the BTI-10 I tend to around $1,620. Most of these thermals have a 384 by 288 sensor size, including the BTI-10, so they're going to have similar detection ranges, but the Armasite and the Fleur have smaller sensors and they're going to be less effective at long range. With regards to frame rate, most of them are in the 50 to 60 range and the BTI-10 does come in at 50, which is acceptable. The field of view is less wide on the BTI-10 compared to the other devices here, but it does have the longest digital zoom range tied with the AGM Sting I are. So it's going to be one of the best suited for longer range use. And if you keep in mind that a thermal is best suited for detecting heat signatures from as far away as possible and preferably before they detect you, it's safe to say that in most instances having longer range is quite a good thing. The BTI-10 is mid-sized at about 250 grams and most of the others are in the 2 to 300 gram range. So it does fall pretty much in the middle and it does run a larger 18650 battery and the runtime is also one of the best at about six hours, putting it just behind the full moon optics revelation mini one thing it is lacking is video recording capability which most of the other devices do have but this might not be a big deal unless you're planning to use it to create content overall when you consider the bti 10 is almost 879 dollars cheaper compared to the next cheapest thermal monocular with the same sensor size and it does stack up very well in almost every other major category it's safe to say that the bti 10 does offer incredible value for the price at 1620 dollars getting into thermal is not cheap by any means and it's nearly four times the cost of the digital night vision that we looked at earlier but when it comes to owning the night and having the superpower of being able to detect warm objects in complete darkness the advantage that comes with that kind of capability are tremendous thanks for watching the video and it would be great to hear your thoughts on the bti 10 down in the comments below you can find a link down in the description below and the coupon code which will be posted there as well